Hey, hey, hey. You know who it is? It's Cripsy K. And you know what it is. It's more Commander Legends, you guys. Found some more. <clears throat> we got some more. Last time we opened up this uh, this little product here, we got some real spicy stuff happening. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up some more. Because why not? Everybody wants to see this product get open. Everybody's losing their mind about Commander Legends. So I thought I'd go ahead and, and just keep throwing my hat right back in the ring. Yes, I know it's not the collector's edition. I hate Watsy's foils, and I don't like opening them. That being said, I'm going to just jump right in, man. That is bothering me. Okay, perfect. All right, if I remember correctly, it's a whole bunch of commons, and then a bunch of uncommons. Okay. <clears throat> now, we are going to look through these uncommons because there's one or two really good uncommons here. Oh, there's a diamond. Happy with that. And Sissé's ring, also happy with that. Okay. These are just, I'm just going to pick out comments that I like. Not a big deal. If you guys don't think that these uncommons are valuable, that's totally fine with me. But I like them, commons and uncommons. We've got Explosion of Riches. Get that out of the glare. Move these over here. Supreme Will. Strength of the Pack. For the first rare, we've got Mutineer. Lanoir, the Abomination, and we got a Mythic. Hold on. Uh, I don't know where to put this guy. I don't know where to put you. And for... I'm going to flip this over. For the Mythic, we've got a Kamal Heart of Krosa. And as an 8-drop Legendary Human Druid 5-5, five, five, beginning at the beginning of combat on your turn, creatures get 3-3 three, three and gain Trample. Pay 1 in the green to end a turn. Target land you control becomes a 1-1 one, one elemental creature, has Vigilance, Indestructible, and Haste. It's still a land. And has Partner. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and put that with our rares. And I guess I'll put this with the Uncommons. That's our Legendary our bonus card. We've got a foil here. Our foil is Ancient Animus. Neat. I'll put that over on the side. And Soldier Token and Prismatic Piper. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get in this again. Like I said, I'm going to pick through. I like some of the comments in the set, and I'm happy to pull several of these comments. So, Planning, Spark Harvest, Sparktone Dragon, Flood, Ivy Lane Denison. And this guy is kind of kind of beefy in like Commander Elves. <clears throat> He's a good include. Slith Ascendant, okay. Hey, Findhorn Elves. Nice little pull there. Got the Marauder. Anointer of Valor. Bandolier, another diamond. Sweet. A Mire or Mur. Sweet. Hey, Terramorphic Expanse. That's that's cool. Oh, into the uncommons here. Let's go ahead and put these away. I'm going to flip these over now that I know the uh, order here. Orzov. Uh, adv Advocist, I guess. Sunset Pyramid. Last uncommon here is going to be the Noxious Dragon. Okay, that's really cool. For the rare, we've got Court of Bounty. Cool. It's a four drop enchantment. ETBs, you become the monarch. Alright. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you are the monarch instead, you may put a creature or land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Neat. Play that with a fog or two. Let all your creatures die. I don't know. I don't know how you pass being the monarch. Alright, and I'm, I'm assuming this is the legendary. Got a legendary rare. <clears throat> cool. Gore Muldrak, Amphenologist. I'm guessing he studies amphibians. I don't know. Three drop, three two, legendary creature, human scout. You and permanents you control have protection from salamanders. All right. At the beginning of your end step, each player who controls the fewest creature creates a four three blue Salamander Warrior Creature Token. I see. Neat. 
And it's strange, but neat. And then I'm assuming second legendary. Hey, we got Hans Ericsson. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me move up this little uh, little stack here. Get Hans Ericsson down. <clears throat> the Magic Historian did an entire video on this card. I recommend you go watch it. I'm not going to get into it because that's, that's a whole long conversation that somebody already had. So go check out the Magic Historian's video on him. And for our foil, got a foil common, a Viscera Seer. It's a one drop. Black creature. One one. Sack a creature and scry. Cool. It's a free sack outlet if you want one. And we got an elf warrior token. Cool. <clears throat> Good pack. That was a really decent pack, actually. Not uh, terribly upset with that. End of the uncommon tier. Dragon Mantle is a good card. Jalen Tome. Awesome. I don't own very many copies of this card. Champion of Flames. Good guy. Angelic Gift is cool. Sanitarium Skeleton is one of my favorite cards. He looks like Eddie from uh, Iron Maiden. Anyway. Seraph of Dawn. Flying Lifelink. That's cool. Ancient Animus. Alright. Supernatural Stamina. Balanced Judgment. Gargoyle into the uncommon. So, well, we got a Jalem Tome. What else? What more are you going to want? So, let's flip it over. Pen and Blade. Cool. Got some equipment. Vow of Lightning. All right. Cool. Last uncommon. We got a Shimmer Myrrh. Flash. You may cast artifact spells as though they had flash. Hello. Look at that. That's neat. Okay. For the rare, we got... Slash the ranks. Five drop. Oh, it's the PewDiePie card. What's up, Pewdie? What's up, Pewds? All right. Five drop. Sorcery. Destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. Neat, I guess. I don't know who he's hanging out with. Sorry, Pewds. All right. Boom. Next one, we got Prava of the Steel Legion. Legendary creature. Cat Soldier. As long as it's your turn, creature tokens you control get one four. And you can pay four to create a creature token. Neat. Not too bad. And foil? No, legendary. Hey. For our legendary, we got another rare. Obeka Brute Chronologist. We've got bolus colors and one. Legendary creature, ogre, wizard. Tap it. The player whose turn it is may end the turn. Huh. It's a 3-4. I don't know if that's uh, good. Now, I know you could end your turn. Basically, somebody wants to do something on your end step. You just end the turn. Whatever they just did doesn't... Oh, whoa! Hey, we got one of the... Um, one of the... Uh, what are they called? Etched foils. And sure enough, I mean... Saying it without saying it, you guys can absolutely see the difference between the etched foil there on your right and the not etched foil there on the left. And uh, it's noticeable. It's extremely noticeable. Why Wizards of the Coast is still printing foils like this, we'll never know. If they continue to print foils like this instead of like this, well, we know that they don't give a crap about their customers. Zombie token. I do want to look at this guy before I go ahead and end the video. Or gal, I should say. Alina the Kessig Trapper. It's 5 drop, 4, 3, legendary human scout. First strike. Tap it to add an amount of red. Equal to the greatest power among creatures you control that entered the battlefield this turn. So... This right here is a really cool card. And not, it's not, you know, it's not just that it's foil. And I think the etched foil looks fairly nice. Some people say it makes the card look, look damaged. But I kind of don't. I know it's harder to see the picture in direct, like, foil light. But, you know, at a first glance, this isn't so bad. It almost looks like it's stamped on metal. Like it's uh, someone polished up some metal 
I don't know how else to explain it. But someone polished up some red metal. Or when you see those um, cheap watches and things at flea markets. You know, you see them like, oh, wow, it's shiny metal. But it's really just like plated, <laughs> plated aluminum or something. So I like this. But the reason why I like this card is because if you're playing a big red deck or a Sarkons and Ceiling deck, a lot of red creatures will have power greater than their casting cost, but like a toughness of one. But it doesn't matter because if you're playing a Sarkons and Ceiling deck, you drop a big creature, blow up something of theirs. And then you get a whole bunch of mana and you drop another big creature, assuming you have the cards to uh, play with. I'll put that over here. I think this was a fairly successful opening. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rare slot cards. One of them being a mythic. You guys let me know if uh, Kamal, Heart of Krosa, is a decent card. So you guys let me know down in the comments below. Did I win? Did I lose? Good? Bad? Who really knows, right? In the meantime, though, you all have a great day. This was Krebs CK. And I'm getting out of here.